You've been asking to go deeper with your data, and we've been listening. Today, we're introducing completely overhauled core components of Felt to bring you the fastest, most streamlined data discovery experience on the internet. The new table view comes with everything you need to analyze your layers. For example, you can now view all your data for even the largest of data sets. Click on a column name to rename it, sort by ascending or descending, or even add a filter. Whoa. You can now use the search tool to quickly find a feature, and then double click on this to zoom straight to it. Whether you're a business analyzing customer demographics, an urban planner assessing infrastructure needs, or a researcher studying geographical phenomena, the power to selectively manipulate and display data on maps is indispensable. Filters allow map editors to focus on specific attributes or criteria, unraveling hidden patterns and trends within spatial data. Filters apply to the table and the map, allowing you to interactively explore your data or hone in on features that you're really interested in. And filters can be applied to any data types. And then you can turn these into new layers with only the subset of data you want. This is really great for exporting as a geo package. For the past few months, we've been hearing the same two requests from users around search. Number one, make search available for viewers, not just editors. And number two, have the ability to search through data layers. Well, today we're proud to say we're delivering on both of those. Finally, viewers will now be able to find their own areas of interest in your maps. Last but not least, we've added a handful of ways to visually understand your data even better. For example, categorical visualizations can now show all categories, not just the top 10. Numeric visualizations can now show a histogram of the data distribution to help you pick the best classification breaks. And pop-ups keep on improving. I love pop-ups. Not only can you now add images and paginate through several features, but they're also available for raster layers for both hover and click. So that's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed these new features. Let us know what you think down in the comment section and we'll see you in the next one.